saying all those names, I definitely butchered all of them. The breaking news is on attention. The breaking news is on. Hello, my beautiful people. It's Dia, and we are going to do Genesis 4. Genesis 4, Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel are Eve's, Adam and Eve's um, sons. All right. It is extremely hot in this room, so bear with me, okay? So, for Cain kills Abel. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering, but unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. Countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth, and why is thy countenance fallen? Fallen, If thou doesn't well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou doesn't not well, sin lieth lieth at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt not rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass. When they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel his brother, and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood Creth unto me from the ground, and now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not hence, henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall the, shalt thou be in the earth. Thee her strength, a fugitive, oh, excuse me. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy, thy face shall I be hid. And I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, and it shall come to pass. What every one ha that finds me shall slay me. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whoever slays Cain, then vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold and the lord set a mark upon cain lest any finding him should kill him and cain went out from the presence of the lord and dwelt in the land of nod on the east of eden cain's descendants and cain knew his wife and she conceived and bare a notch and he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son Enoch. and unto notch was born um Erad, and Erad begat Mechiel, and Mechiel begat Methusiel, and Methusiel begat Lamech, and Lamech took unto him two wives. The name of one was Ada, and the name of the other Zillah, and Ada bare Jabal. He was the father of such as dwell in tents, of such as have cattle, and his brother's name was Jabal. He was the father of all shall has candle, the harp, and organ. And Zella, she also bare Tubal Cain, an instructor of every artificer in brass and iron. And the sister of Tubal Cain was Nema. And Lamech said unto his wives, Ada and Zella, Hear my voice, ye wives of Lamech. Hearken unto my speech, for I have slain a man into my wounding, and a young man to my hurt. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech, seventy and sevenfold. And Adam knew his, Adam's descendants. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son, called him Seth. For God, said she, hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. And to Seth, Seth to him also there was a born son, and he called his name Enos, and then began men to, and then begin men to call upon the name of the lord Oof. 
Thank you for bearing with me saying all those names. I definitely butchered all of them except for Adam and Eve. <laughs> um, yeah, so that finishes Genesis 4. You can now leave if you want to or you can stay and study with me. So, like I've mentioned before, this is the King's James version, version, which I've picked up a few years ago, and I never opened the Bible since. I mean, I did. I put, like, these little tabs on it a while ago. I know it's one of, like, the closest to God's language and how he spoke. And, um, I mean, that's kind of my just justification to it as to why I wanted it. So, I'm just going to continue reading the bottom so for one it says the word new means had sexual intercourse with oh because this and adam knew his wife well duh um and is a perfect description of what sexual sexual <laughs> sexual union means oneness and total knowledge of the other person sexual intercourse is the most intimate of acts sealing a social physical and spiritual relationship that is why god has reserved it for marriage alone for two no longer was everything provided for adam and eve as it was in the garden of eden where their daily tasks were refreshing and delightful now they had to struggle against the elements in order to provide food clothing and shelter for themselves and their family cain became a farmer while abel was a shepherd in the middle east today these ancient occupations are still practiced much as they were when, were in Cain and Abel's time. For Genesis 4, 3-5 The Bible does not say why God rejected Cain's sacrifice. Perhaps Cain's attitude was improper or perhaps his offering was not up to God's standards. God evaluates both our motives and, equal, and the quality of what we offer him. Amen. Um, when we give to God and others, we should have a joyful heart because of what we're able to give. We should not worry about how much we are giving up, for all things are God's in the first place. Instead, we should joyfully give to God our best in time, money, possessions, and talents. Mm -hmm. uh, Genesis 4, 6, 7. How do you react when someone suggests you have done something wrong? Do you move to correct the mistake or deny that you need to correct it? After Cain's sacrifice was rejected, God gave him the chance to right his wrong and try again. God even encouraged him to do this, but Cain refused. And the rest of his life is a startling example of what happens to those who refuse to admit their mistakes. The next time someone suggests you are wrong, take an honest look at yourself and choose God's way instead of Cain's. Okay, so Genesis 4, 8 to 10. This is the first murder taking... This is the first murder. Murder taking a life by shedding human blood. Blood represents life. If blood is removed from a living creature, it will die. Since God created life, only God should take life away. Okay. Genesis 4, 8 dash... Genesis 4, 8 8 10. Adam and Eve's disobedience brought sin into their human race. They may have thought their sin eating a harmless piece of fruit wasn't very bad, but notice how quickly their sinful nature developed in the lives of their children. Simple disobedience suddenly degenerated into the outright murder. Adam and Eve acted only against God, but Cain acted against both God and man. A small sin has a way of growing out of control. Let God help you with your little sins before they turn into tragedies. So remember how last time we did e Adam, this one says Eve. Okay, so Eve. We know very little about Eve, the first woman in the world. Yet yeah, she's the mother of us all. She is the final piece in the in intricate and amazing puzzle of God's creation. Adam now had another human being with whom to fellowship, someone with an equal share in God's image. Here was someone alike enough for companionship, yet different enough for relationship. Together they were greater than either could have been alone. Eve was approached by Satan in the Garden of Eden where she and Adam lived. 
He questioned her contentment. How could she be happy when she was not allowed to eat from the one of the fruit trees? Satan helped Eve shift her focus from all that God had done and given to the one thing he had withheld. And Eve was willing to accept Satan's viewpoint without checking with God. Sound familiar? How often is our attention drawn from the, from the much which is ours to little that isn't? We get that I've got to have it feeling. Eve was a typical of us all, and we constantly show that we are her descendants by repeating her mistakes, our desires. Like Eve can be quite easily manipulated. They are not the best basis for actions. We need to keep God in our decision-making process always. His word, the Bible, is our guidebook in decision-making. Strengths and accomplishments. Jeez Louise. Um, all right. Lessons from her life. The female shares in the image of God. The necessary ingredients for a strong marriage are com complete oneness. Aptness from shame. The basic human tendency to sin to go back to the beginning of the human race. So, we all want to sin. Everybody got choices. Cain was severely punished for this murder. God judges all sins and punishes appropriately. But not simply out of anger or vengeance. Rather, God's punishment is meant to correct us and restore our fellowship with him. When you're corrected, don't resent it, but renew your fellowship with God. We have heard about only four people so far. Adam, Eve, Cain, and Abel. Two questions arise. Why was Cain worried about being killed by others? And where did he get his wife? Good question. Adam and Eve had numerous children. They had been told to replenish the earth. Cain's guilt and fear over killing his brother were heavy, and he probably feared repercussions from his family if he was capable of killing. So were they. The wife Cain chose must have been one of his sisters or a niece. The human race was still genetically pure and there was no fear of side effects from marrying relatives. Unfortunately, when left to themselves, people tend to get worse instead of better. This short, this short summary of Lamech's family showed us a variety of talent and ability God gives humans. It also presents the continuous development of sin as time passes. Another murder was, has occurred similarly in self-defense violence is on the rise two distinct groups are now appearing one those who show indifference to sin and evil and two those who call upon the name of the lord the descendants of seth seth would take abel's place as the leader of a line in god's faithful people all right guys thank you so much for watching have a good night go to sleep sleep with the angels sleep tight